Check I'm gay. So I went and saw Wonder Woman finally. Ooh. I've been trying it's been sold out for months. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. they you know, they charge more for uh men w- women to get in. To help offset the wage gap, they give they make it mm. more money for women. That makes sense. But it all went to that girl Gal Gadot's Yeah. Uh salary. Well it went to it went to buying uh pebble shields for the IDF. <laughs> to defend them against <laughs> Lebanese the children <laughs> Lebanese children uh, are heroes yeah no they charge women more because women don't mm-hmm. understand how money works ah, so mm-hmm. they say okay well the men's price is 73% of what the women pay and the women are like fuck yeah of course it's more for us that's <laughs> we're empowered by paying more because none of them, their husbands buy everything. Oh, I see. Yeah. So they're not familiar. So you're just, this is the first time many women have actually they've, they've, used they've, they've, currency They themselves. don't understand transactions. <laughs> no, okay. You got to buy the ticket with the Harriet Tubman 20, <laughs> which costs $27 to purchase. <laughs> oh, those are out? Yeah, oh, if you're if you're a woman. Oh. See, you got to be a member of Birchbox to get them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way to do feminism is by buying a series of subscription services. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> until in, until you've completely depleted your disposable income on empowering yourself. We should create like Slaybox or something and it's just like Hillary Clinton bumper stickers and like Beyonce. Well, shit. when when that that like, that, that, kind of, that should already exist. Really? Yeah. When the when the safety pin box safety came pin, out. Yeah. Oh, there was a. Box? I wanted to do a subscription yeah. services that, that awesome. teaches black people how to how to like be better black people <laughs> as an answer to the safety pin box. Oh, so what does it have? Well, it's it's got a watch in there that's set twenty minutes early, so you're always on time for things. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> What else? <laughs> you know, uh, it tells you when to say please and thank you. Every week, there's like a new <laughs> word to avoid using. Uh-huh. Or like, like what? different like turns of phrase. Like, for the simple fact that, it tells you not to say things like that. <laughs> Don't ever start a sentence with, for the simple fact that. <laughs> or the fact of the matter is. Mm. You know, stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Um, not so much the obvious stuff. Like, this isn't a place to find out that you should pull up your pants, you know? Right. This is more... Cosby covered that. Right. This is sort of like more of like an advanced... Escape for, and escape? Do they cover that? Uh, no. See, because that's just racist. Okay. This is for people... Look, it's not my job to educate them. It's not my job to educate. <laughs> Wait. It's your job to trick them but into Is this your time. box? Yeah. Now it's turning into my making it my okay, job. Okay, okay. I'm making it a way for me to get paid to educate people, but uh, it's not my job to enact the emotional labor. I see. Mm-hmm. You know, which is a form of slavery. <laughs> making me feel things is slavery. Mm-hmm. That's so fucking true. Yeah. Well, that's good. We got that box. That's a good That's a good money-making venture that we could I do. I wonder uh, if how many people are at. Imagine being the kind of fucking... They got the safety simpering pin Simpering f- piece of shit, weaselly asshole that buys the safety, the safety pin, pin box. box. I mean, what's in there for real? It's, I, I, you know what? I guarantee you they're not even like fulfilling orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they're just collecting the fucking money and then it became like... Yeah, all you buy is they email you a screenshot that you can put on your Twitter. There's only so many things. I mean, those people like recycle the, the talking points so much. I mean, everybody does, but like... There's a limit to that woke bullshit. You get like three. It's not like, you know, Birchbox is a great idea because there's always more makeup. Is Birchbox makeup out with snacks? I mean, that's can, uh, it's non-toxic blues. makeup. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. I've just been eating yeah. makeup. <laughs> I love, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Stav has a, I love has a monthly subscription in Nutrigrain bars. <laughs> <laughs> and they get sent to his house like Netflix. <laughs> I get to say, select whatever flavors I want. It's yeah. awesome. Um, it's called ju- Juice Box. Juice box. That's good. We should yeah. start that. A subscription food service. Amazon kind of already does that. I mean, there's so many of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, Wonder Woman was fucking terrible. Yeah, I didn't see it yet, but I was excited. I'm kind of... I guess it was bad. Well, the script's really fucking stupid. Yeah. You know? That's what everyone says. The script was kind of dog shit. And, and then, everyone's explaining shit. Yeah. And, like, and then it's like... the they th- When Matrix 2 came out and they started that like... Superman style of fight choreography where it's like two different people that can control lasers that come out of their hands. Right. And they're just using the force to make bigger and bigger explosions. I happen. thought Wonder Woman's a shield. Yeah, it's a shield, but then, you know, it's like the final fight is her mm-hmm. and this other guy throwing lightning at each other, and they're both She's like, She's got immortal. lightning? She gets lightning? Yeah, and it's like there's no. I thought she had the lasso, too. Uh, yeah, it's, it's bullshit. Oh, yeah, it's lasso. Not, the like, lasso you know, that I, makes I, I rewatched tell you the Police truth. Story the other day. <laughs> 
and you watch Police Story, and it's fucking awesome to watch that because it's. Well, like you're talking about Jackie difficult Chan? choreography, and they like have to compose all of these fight scenes right. that these guys act out, and then you watch something like Wonder Woman, and it's like. Oh, I'm just going to stand here and look determined and right, empower right, women right. by waiting for the fucking editor to <laughs> put some giant laser on the screen. And then there's a big explosion. It's like, oh, the guy dead? Oh, no, he's not. Now he's just on fire. Right. And then, and then the, but then the fire turns into a different kind of laser. You oh, know? fuck. It's there's just, two lasers? I don't yeah, know. It's, so it's, that sounds pretty good. shit, dude. And what, like, the, the, the worst example of that is, like, the final fight scene from Matrix 3 with neo and the jesus one yeah the, what happens in that the, with well neo he comes and, back from the dead smith or, yeah yeah agent smith and they're, they're just like you know they're punching each other but both of them are like the strongest guy in the world you know it's mm. just boring yeah whereas watching like you know jackie chan fucking use yeah. a coat bop, bop, rack bop, bop, bop. to do <laughs> yeah. i blame that on the coat rack karate on yeah. on three different guys at one time that shit's awesome just hanging by bamboo and shit yeah, yeah. injuring rules. himself in real life. Yeah. I blame it on the Transformers. That's just watching a CGI thing fight a CGI nope, thing. Who's the Matrix? The one I said in the beginning. All right. That's whose fault it is. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't seen it. I might still see it. I don't know, dude. But I haven't... Um, I saw I saw Predator. It was good as shit. Uh, I saw Purple Rain. Have you guys seen Purple Rain? The Prince, Prince movie? movie? Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. It fucking it was it was a horrible movie, but it was fun. Yeah. Prince is a bad guy in that, dude. He makes Apollonia fucking take her titties out and the other guy's a better dude to her. That's my hot take on Purple Rain, dude. All right. Morris Day actually all he's trying to do is help her out. You know? Prince fucks her, doesn't help her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pretty fucked up. And however, here's my takeaway, Apollonia. Beautiful titties. Wow, hot take. That, she is really hot. Coming in hot with How the How about a, a subscription service called Breast Box? Now we're talking. We just email you pictures of your wife's breasts. You up front, you send us a bunch of pictures of your wife's breasts, and then we send them back to you. Oh. Every month. Because you know what? It's not my job to educate. <laughs> what about Head Box? What do you guys think that is? A subscription it's the box from the movie Seven. Yep. <laughs> you Each seven? day a different severed head. Uh, no, yeah, I have not. <laughs> it's a good movie. I want to see it. There's like a there's like a box and you don't know what's in it. Uh, that's don't spoil Pulp it. Fiction. No, oh. you don't know what's in the box in Seven either. Yeah, but no, I, I've seen Pulp Fiction. The, no, don't, 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 no spoilers. It's the dead dude. baby. Oh man, that they sucked out of the woman's pussy. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, what's in the box? That's what he says. And then everyone says that whenever people bring up that movie. They do their, what's in the box impression. Because everyone has a unique personality. <laughs> and in no way does everyone, you know, have fun the same exact way. <laughs> not just doing you know, a character that they saw someone else do. I love, that's what, that's what makes us great. Because we always do original ass characters. Yeah, I have one. And we don't like anything. Yeah. That's what makes us. I don't great. like anything. And I, I have the most original character of all, which is Indian apartment broker. That's a good one. Yeah, it's good. Who can't say the word views? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's a great one. Because he mixes up W's and V's. Yeah, give the people a little taste. So this is one of the greatest apartments in Brooklyn. <laughs> I l- love this apartment. <laughs> I, l- I lo- <laughs> love this apartment. <laughs> Because it has one of the greatest wolves <laughs> in the city. It's wolves. It's wolves. I'm Wews. sorry, there's wolves in this apartment? It's, no, it's the greatest wolf <laughs> in wolf? the city. <laughs> <laughs> the best wolf. Um, I've got one called the horny teddy bear. Do it. <laughs> I'm a bear. I want to fuck you. <laughs> I'm a horny teddy bear. I want to suck your cock. <laughs> it sounds a lot like Jeffrey, your but other I, character. No, that's my character. That's his. This that's doesn't his. sound anything like Jeffrey. Yeah, it doesn't. Do Jeffrey. That's also not a character I really do. That's not really f- fleshed out. Oh, yeah, that sorry for bringing that, that up. That one's then. in the oven until, yeah, I, yeah. until I make some phone calls. I'm like the Indian guy in the horny teddy bear. Yeah. The teddy bear is bisexual, by the way. I want to taste cum, but also pussy. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's the horny teddy bear. I was also. Um, are Teddy Grahams good for you? No. Yeah, they are. No, they're yeah. not. Yeah. No, they're good. No, they're too sweet. 
I think th- I think they're like crackers, which are health food. <laughs> <laughs> They've got superfoods in I them. I used to think that when I was a kid. I was like, oh, yeah, saltines are like healthy because <laughs> yeah. they're not candy. <laughs> I can eat an entire box of saltines, and that's like good for me. Oh, fuck. I the remember- dumbass shit I used to think about food. Yeah. Like drinking like three Arizona iced tea tall boys. Oh, yeah. And we're like, no, it's iced tea. tea. Yeah, tea. So we're you drink it when you're sick. Chinese monks drink <laughs> yeah, this yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm basically the queen of Sh- England. <laughs> yeah. Show me, a, show me a fat Shaolin monk. You can't do it, dude. I'm going to get good at karate from drinking all this Arizona iced tea. Like a Hopi Indian. <laughs> and my fucking house made out of corn. And I pray to my corn god and drink my Arizona iced tea. Live at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Talk to spirits in the wind. Uh, fuck. Also, Gatorade. I used to think Gatorade was just yeah, oh, yeah. so it's good for, for you. It's sports, dude. I would run for like 20 minutes and just drink three big-ass Gatorades. Uh-huh. God, that shit ruled. What was your flavor? Of Gatorade? Yeah, it was your... Red. Red's good. I did yellow because I was coming my pants too much, so I needed to lower my sperm count. Oh, it, it yeah. lowers your... Oh, that, that Mountain Dew, that's what everyone said. Yeah, yeah. Adam's sperm count is one. <laughs> He has one sperm. <laughs> just a fuck, just an empty ass ball sack. <laughs> you can see it swimming. His balls are just completely shriveled. <laughs> you can see the one sperm <laughs> moving around. <laughs> All right, we gotta delete this episode. Like a, his nut sack just looks like a tea bag that's been sitting on the kitchen counter for three days. It looks like he has a little tapeworm, but it's just the one sperm wriggling. That's not true, guys. You know I'm a heavy flow. You know I'm. A Do you come heavy? Yeah, I'm a thick shooter. Are you a thick shooter? Yeah. Oh, nice, dude. My shit depends entirely on like how much water I've had. Really? Yeah, Mine one. is if I've jerked off that day or not. Of no, course. I the saw, longer you I, jerk off, I'm like chronically yeah. dehydrated. Really? Because yeah, you drink a lot of coffee. I do. I drink a lot of diuretics. Yeah. Mm. Coffee is also bad for your stomach, too. Cranberry juice? Yeah. Oh, no, what I need, to, I need to moisturize with lotion. Your balls? Yeah, no, my whole body. Just it, dip dehydration, a lot of people think you have to drink water, but you can just put lotion all yeah, over your Yeah, it's true. <laughs> That's why black people never drink water, dude. Yeah. Because they're always they're They always drink hydrated. nothing but soda and they cover themselves <laughs> yeah. in lotion. That's why they... This, I, I remember Swat. reading that somewhere like on the bodybuilding forums one time. It's like somebody was like, why are black people always more jacked than white people? And someone and it's not because... Was just well, no, it's because someone was like, oh, because they're darker. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, it's like, they're darker so the muscles look better. <laughs> It's like, yeah, that's the reason. It has nothing to do with slavery <laughs> and like selective she, breeding. Yeah, selective sh- like breeding when we like stole them from Africa and treated it, them like cattle for. And also, isn't there like more years? biodiversity? Isn't there like more diversity of people in Africa? Like everyone's like, you get yeah, more, but most African more Americans and, are West African. Oh, really? Of the slave trade. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know shit. Oh, yeah, isn't that what you were saying about Oprah saying she thought yeah, she yeah. was... Yeah, yeah, she uh, thought she was Zulu. Zulu. Yeah. <laughs> I am a Zulu warrior. <laughs> no, you're um, from you're from Ghana. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I also wanted to ask, what do you find the longer you beat off and then you finally come, the bigger mm-hmm. it is? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, if you get more Yeah, pumps, we said that. No, 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 but I mean, I don't oh, mean the like longer the longer you beat off? Even, you know what I mean? Like, let's say you're beating oh, no. off. I've max. I've like, I, I've perfected beating off to the point where I barely come at this point. You barely come? I don't even need to be fully hard. I barely come. You I only really, fully hard? I don't really, no, I'm just kidding. But I, I could jerk off at a at nice 80 percent. Sperm count one. Sperm count one. No, it's not That's sperm why count you one. can't, you don't come. That's, that's, <laughs> because yeah. you only have, you, you have it, the then you choke of, it back. That's the name of Adam's plane that he rides around on. <laughs> Sperm, sperm count. count one. <laughs> yeah. Get off my plane. I want my plane back. <laughs> Give me back my sperm. Yeah, there's a jar full of your old cum, and you have to uh, put it back into your balls. Somebody stole my sperm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think someone could someone steal your cum from your balls with a syringe? I don't know how that works. I'm not a doctor. I mean, yeah, we need to get a doctor on the on the horn. Dude. At, what Adam does when he has sex with a girl is let's like, hear it. He he's like has sex with her. <laughs> And then, he, like, he's like, I just I'm want gonna, everyone I'm gonna to come know that shut up. True. It's, shut just, the fuck up. I'm doing this thing. Okay. <laughs> and he rolls her over. He's like, I'm about to come. And then he, like, starts jerking off on her lower back. And she's, like, ter- looking around. And he's like, don't, don't look. I can't do it if you're looking. <laughs> and then so she turns around. And then he 
Pox farts movie. out all of the old cum in his ass. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes. From another guy. <laughs> from a guy and fucking he, him. <laughs> he pretends it's his. I from think a it's veteran. Uh, he had, lets a veteran, oh, a veteran have sex with him. So he steals valor. Is that part of the Wounded Warrior Project? I just want yeah, to say the that. Wounded Warrior Project. <laughs> yeah. I, I think, told you that was my idea yeah. for a charity for sexually assaulted <laughs> veterans. The Pounded Warrior Project. Oh, God damn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's oh, good that you're God, helping out damn. veterans, Adam. Yeah. That's well, I nice. think that it's. I just think it's progress that you had me having sex with a woman in this uh, slanderous <laughs> lie about my sex life. There's a trans woman. <laughs> yeah, you didn't let him finish. <laughs> what do you mean turned her pre, over? Then? Pre, of course. Yeah. <laughs> pre, yeah, pre. <laughs> pre what? You know what? Um, what? Pre even finding out they're trans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think yes. <laughs> it's a guy that 20 years from now will become trans. Yeah. <laughs> pre, pre, any, pre even coming out of the closet. You're sexually assaulting a four year old boy that'll deal with the trauma in 20 then years. You but, actually turn him trans yeah. because you raped him. I don't think that. I don't think. I don't know. I that's think, real. That's real and it true. happened. <laughs> Everyone knows that story. <laughs> that old tale. That old charming little uh, one piece of Aesop's of fables. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, rude to ask if someone's trans. I think. You know, you know that old story. Boy meets girl. You know. Yep. The girl is Adam. <laughs> the boy is a four-year-old boy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. I remember that one. A what rack. story is I that? Think the dog's dead, dude. She's just sleeping. She's just chilling. Oh, um, anyway. those snake guys out yet? It's like snake guy weather in Manhattan. Do they? I don't go into Manhattan as much anymore, so I don't see him. I saw a guy. Um, was there a, a snake guy? A specific snake guy? Oh yeah, you don't see those guys? Not really. It's, it's always it's always like uh, like black dudes will just wear a giant snake around Yo, the city. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, yeah I want a snake. Cool. How do we get a snake? I, don't I want to take a naked snake, photo shoot with a snake. That ter- oh, that, by the way, that guys, occupies a weird, a weird territory between black nerd and black cool guy is snake guy. Because mm-hmm. there's something anime about it, you know? Yes. There's yeah, something very yeah, yeah. Dragon Ball Z about, uh, about wearing a snake around. Like, you could very easily go Sega black guy with that one. Absolutely. But then it's also like, that's what a dude who sells women would do also. Right, yeah. that's an extreme pimp move. <laughs> that's yeah. like that's like the absolute. You're yeah. at, oh damn! It's you're like right. having it's like it's like if he had press on nails, where that, <laughs> that would be weird. But, it's all, but there's like a, a level long, of pinky <laughs> pedicure nails. Like that's not a nerd move. That's like a very intimidating right guy. That's like so sexualized. Right, right, right. From from selling women into yeah. sex slavery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's so straight. He just becomes gay as like a challenge to other straight guys. Yeah, that is yeah, the yeah. most alpha shit. But that right. is like, like well, that's like, on that's makeup like and prison blush. rapist. Right, is right, like that kind of guy. Yeah, Would, you know, like a we guy always aspire like to be curlers in his hair and the, stuff. The most intimidating prison rapist is the guy that's like blowing kisses at you and yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, telling you you're beautiful. <laughs> it's not the like I'm gonna rape you guy. Yeah, the I'm gonna rape you guy is just he's insecure. He doesn't know. He's mad mm-hmm. that he has to rape men, but he, <laughs> right, right, he doesn't want right. to get raped himself. Yeah. I would the guy that's like sending you Valentine. How funny it would be <laughs> Adam getting little cards written on toilet paper in his cell. Some six foot seven guy with four hundred and eighty two pounds is like waving at him. Just a he's got long, beautiful hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy. Hey boo. Adam's like, I don't like that. That's not how I sound. That's not how I sound. I don't sound like that. I'm I, I don't like this attention. <laughs> Uh, of fuck. course, I would like the attention. The attention's nice. We can all agree. The, the attention's, attention's nice. nice. Um, I'm yeah. I've miss, I've been missing out on uh, gay male attention ever since I relaunched my Instagram. It hasn't been quite the trigger for gay attention that the old one was. Um, well, Stavi Baby Two on Instagram, everyone, please follow. Um, but I think I'll get there. I'm thinking about starting a grinder with all my pictures. And being like, and having sex please with follow, men. Yeah. and then just having sex with men. Yeah. I'm thinking about starting a grinder as a cover, <laughs> using my Instagram as a cover, and then actually meeting up with these men and having sex with them. Someone told me when I was selling uh, weed that I should use grinder to sell weed. You should use grinder to sell ketamine. And your Why ass ketamine? And club drugs. Where do you get ketamine? 
these days. Off grinder. I feel like that's a very like <laughs> British raver drug. No, is it? So like, I'm fucked off cat. Off cat. I did so I'm much cat last it? night. I did so much cat. I was on fucking cat all night. So I was completely disassociated with my body. Uh, cheerio, governor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on ketamine, right. governor. I had ketamine, governor. Why are they always saying hello to the governor? Che- cheerio. Yeah, yeah, what British is the people governor? always have access to governors. They have a lot of governors. Yeah, that's the thing. Every you know, every neighborhood is a state. In when England. when when uh, New York was still under British rule, there was like some governor here that was trans. Really? Yeah, in like the fucking 1700s, there was like a cross-dressing British governor. Hell yeah! That would like hide in the bushes and then jump out and kiss other men. Yeah, <laughs> that guy sounds awesome, yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> Yo, old-timey, like ancient gay men, or like yeah. the people that are so gay, they just like, just were like, fucks all the society. This is how gay I am, that I'm going to be just open as hell in like 4,000 years ago or whatever. Although, I guess then everyone was gay, but like 300 years ago, that's tight. Yeah, I mean, gay repression didn't really start until... Uh, the 20th century. Yeah, until about 2009. Yeah. When we all got online. That's true. Suddenly the hardest thing in the world was to be a gay man on Tumblr. God, can you imagine really? how oppressive that would be? It is oppressive. You have to, to wear gay on Tumblr. You have to pierce the middle part of your nose. You have to wear choker necklaces. It's difficult. It, Stop it. Adam, what are other things you have to do? <laughs> you have to um you have to learn I don't know, you have to You have to learn Farsi if you want to be gay. That's a big part of being gay. You it? don't have to. Yeah. But if you wanna if you wanna fuck cute Persian boys, you do. Right, Adam? Isn't that what you were telling me earlier off mic? About what? About having sex with cute Persian boys? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Adam likes to do what they call the magic carpet. Where you come in each other's pubes and then you glue it together, <laughs> and then you, then you jump then, out the window. No, you ju- you jump, you b- separate yourselves violently, and it'll rip off. One person gets all of their pubes ripped off. Oh, it's like a by the cum. Bone. Yeah, and then whoever loses has to eat the the cum pube nest like a pussy, <laughs> and that's the magic carpet. <laughs> This is an important podcast. A whole podcast. new world. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. My you mouth didn't is see Aladdin full on of Broadway. Cubes and cum. <laughs> you didn't. Have- <laughs> I want to eat your ass. It would be and cool. Suck your dick. Yeah. That's actually that wasn't in the movie, but fucking Robin Williams uh, ad lib that in a genie scene, and you know he said he said if you don't put this in the movie, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> And so they put it in there, and then they took it out for all of the home media releases. Oh, but he didn't. He didn't watch it until well, he didn't watch it until two years ago, <laughs> yeah. because he was like, you know, that magic carpet thing I came up with. People are like, what are you talking about? He's like, you know, in Aladdin, where you glue your pubes together and rip them apart. They're like Robin, no, nobody knows what you're talking about. He's like, no, what? We'll watch Aladdin right now. And then they put it on, and he kept rewinding it furiously. <laughs> and he's like, somebody give me a belt. The stress of it actually gave him a disease, <laughs> whichever one he yeah. had. He had Parkinson's. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what would be funny? If your dog got Parkinson's disease. <laughs> that wouldn't be funny. It would be. Uh, oh, boy. Anyway. So what do you guys? Uh, what do you guys? What are your plans for the summer? Is anyone going on a nice trip? I'm getting a fucking beach ball, dude, and some sunglasses. Hell yeah! And I'm gonna take uh, pictures that say "Wish you were here." Mm. Yeah, mm. that's good. Get I'm gonna go on send vacation. Send them to my ex-wife. I'm gonna go on vacation to Lula with my <laughs> girlfriend, my 500 pound ex-wife, to Lula, <laughs> to Lula Willis, yeah, Bruce Tallulah Willis's was, yeah. daughter. Bruce Willis's 500-pound daughter, <laughs> who I was married to. I'm going to go on vacation with my girlfriend and do uh, an Instagram series where she's holding my hand, mm, yeah, and she's good. leading me like in front of the Eiffel Tower. Oh, one, of the, one of the black of the Instagrams I follow, somebody made one with those with the girl from the guy's perspective, and she goes to the edge of a cliff, <laughs> and then she like turns around, the guy just shuts her, <laughs> and it looks like really well done. She just falls and just, like splits her head open on a <laughs> fucking rock. 
It's real? I mean, it's like, I, no, I doubt it's, it's real, but yeah. it's like very well made. Oh, great. Good production value. That is a good bit. Yeah. That's a great bit, actually. I'm jealous. Yeah. Well, so, you know those are all one guy. That's like one photographer who like came up with that idea. Yeah, but now everyone Of the does Follow it. Me series, yeah. I think they broke up. And they had to keep Hopefully. going. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I think the follow me couple broke it was up. Too that successful. dumb shit you have to do in a relationship is so fucking. <laughs> Just We've being in one. It. Yeah, but that fucking. I like it. I think it's sweet. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. I like doing the things that I do, which is purchasing <laughs> electronics, uh, calibrating them. Oh yeah, setting them up in different ways, going through <laughs> menu after menu, figuring out how to tweak, you know, HDR settings and resolution settings and mm -hmm. optimizing lighting and yes, and, mm -hmm. and setting up audio fields, you know. Yeah, hell yeah, I, that's the kind of shit. That's just to doing me, that. That's my version of going blueberry picking. <laughs> yeah. You have to also be ignoring a girlfriend while doing those things, though, right? No. Oh no, but it helps. Yeah. Um, I'm ready you know to do I, some I sweet can't stand cute shit. Is when a, a a gal is interrupting me while I'm trying to watch the big game. <laughs> <laughs> Which game? Uh, it's you the know. movie The Game. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant reading the no, game. No, every February I invite all my friends over to watch <laughs> the big the game. game. <laughs> We're watching the game in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and they all come in, and then I lock them in there, and they're like, Nick, please stop doing this bit. <laughs> I said, it's too late. Oh, uh, fuck that's yeah, what, dude. That's what you get for trusting a man with interior deadbolts. <laughs> <laughs> I do that, but it's my friends, and we, we listen to the audiobook of the game. Uh, the uh, By Mystery? By mis no, by the guy. By Neil Strauss. By Neil Strauss. And by the end, and then we just all go crush. P -p 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 yeah, I watch, we watch the game, we watch Surviving the Game. We listen to Dude. MVP by the game. Yep. yep oh, that's yep. cool. <laughs> or, is that the name of the album? I don't remember. Yeah. What about Neil Simon's The Game, right, guys? Boo. Yeah. Sounds gay. Man, you don't know how this shit works, dude. <laughs> what, what, you are, what you are a terrible joke writer. <laughs> I'm a good joke writer. <laughs> I'm taking your name off... off uh, the description? The, you the can't because we never put it on it. No, yeah. no. I was trying yeah, to yeah. think of a project. You're talking about the description on uh, <laughs> none of them. Yeah, we haven't finished anyone, but we're you know we're right, guys. Stuff. We're working on the web series every day, all day together. So we've had a lot of time. Yeah, but we've made zero progress. No, we, we haven't. We have progress. like uh, five bad. Why sketches. are you like playing? You're with literally your dog's just nipples. It's fun tugging on her them. nipples. It's weird, dude. She no joke. Fed. It's making me feel weird. Yeah, Why? that is weird. It, you're like because beating, it's sexual. Yeah, it's not you're, bothering you're you. You're playing with her titties. It's not bothering it literally my is. Why don't you feel weird, dude? It'd be like if you were playing with your dog's vagina. Yo, that play. shit is so weird. It's not an erogenous zone for <laughs> my dog. Stop. I had my dog spade. She's not coming from this. It's just it a feel, nice thing that we do weird, together. Dude. I just play with her. If you had a dog and you cut his balls off, would you beat him off? Yes. If oh, it didn't okay. have, you don't cut the dog's balls off. Norman Wilkerson snip. sucked a dog's dick one time. Really? No, he didn't. Yeah, he used to tell this story. That was his like most embarrassing story. Is that he like. When he was like twelve, he put it, his dog got hard and he like sucked his dog's dick. <laughs> what the dog? He put peanut butter on his dog's dick and licked it oh, off. Yeah. He was really yeah, yeah. You know the classic, the classic. <laughs> that is awesome. Is Norman just gay for for dogs? I guess so. Dogs' dicks are so repulsive looking. Cats yeah, but they taste are really good. gross too. Yeah, well, They're that's like why horned. cats are. All, yeah, they have a little like it's like a red prickly Hershey's kiss. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they have a thorny dick. Yeah. It's strange. That's yeah. why cats suck. You know, their dicks are so small that like if they get a uh, if you put a catheter in a cat, uh, Josh Androsky was telling me this. His cat, they had to put like a catheter in for some bladder problem, and their dicks are so small that usually when they remove the catheter, it just rips the cat's dick <laughs> off. <laughs> like, uh, fuck. just don't. They're like, yeah, and we'll just like suture a hole there. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine going in for a surgery and then being like a completely unrelated <laughs> surgery. You get your fucking appendix out and you're like, hey man, sorry, yeah. your dick popped off. Well, that's what you get for being a gay ass cat. Yeah, dude. fuck What's cats, the dude. duck? What's the yeah. duck? Uh, An Argentinian duck. An Argentine it's like duck. it's like scorpion. Like yeah, get yeah, over yeah. here. Shh. So uh, <laughs> what is it? They everyone knows about this, Adam. You're not <laughs> no, Stop doesn't know. I don't know. The Argentine duck has like a dick that's like twice the length of its body. <laughs> yeah, it looks like yes. a phone cord. 
Yeah. And, and, he, and it can, it's like a heat seeking dick. It like yeah, seeks it's out like a duck's Scorpion pussies. from Mortal Kombat. Th- yeah. Does he fling it? Yeah, and he says, get over here. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's rules, dude. Yeah, it's I cool. want to dig that like that. Yeah, no, I had a sketch idea where it's like uh, a guy gets in a car accident and he's like waking up after surgery and he's like, you know, he's got bandages on his face. Mm hmm. And uh, he was like, oh, my God, what happened? And they're like, we flew in one of the best, like, plastic surgeons in the country. And uh, so they, like, take the bandages off. And he's like, luckily, like, this guy's the best. He was able to, like, completely restruct, like, reshape your nose. And the guy's like, yeah, like, I can barely tell. He's like, yeah, we just, um, the nose has a lot of the same tissue as the penis. So we took the penis and we <laughs> grafted it in your nose. He's like, what, what do you mean? And he's like, well, we just removed your penis and turned it and, like, looked down. <laughs> And they've cut his dick off. He's like, no, 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 put it back. I don't want the nose. Fuck my like, nose. I don't need a nose. I don't, I don't want to smell shit. I want to fuck. Yeah. And they've cut his dick off and turned it into his nose. That's good. Yeah. We should do that sketch. And then we act, but to it's just so to much be, better to just say on the podcast what the sketches were going to be because that's that's there's no heightening there. That's not particular. It's not like insightful. It's just a funny I think it's thing insightful. to say. So you say it, and that's the end. <laughs> and then it's over. Imagine how much better Seinfeld would have been as a show if it was just me saying, like, <laughs> yeah, and then there's this guy Kramer, and he fucking does stuff. And, you know, he's like a weird neighbor. and He, yeah, he walks through the door really everyone fast. on the show is Jewish. And then uh, this guy who works at the post office that Jerry doesn't like. Mm-hmm. People would love that. That'd be a good show, man. I think Costanza's yeah. Greek. No, it's Italian. I wish he was, but he's not. I think he's supposed to be Greek. It's he's Italian. not. I would know that. Come on. Why? It's an Italian why? name. What do you mean, why? Why would he know? Because George Costanza is who I've modeled my life after. Well, I think he was he's Greek. He's my hero. Huh? I think he was I Greek. wish he was Greek. He's not, dude. Stop. You haven't seen that episode? <laughs> yeah, the Greek festival. Yeah. You haven't seen that episode? <laughs> wait, wait. They, yeah, doesn't he like convert to Eastern Orthodox in one of the episodes? Does he? Yeah, but think... which means he's not Greek. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for a woman or something? I don't remember that. Whatever. Oh, yeah, isn't... Su- Fuck, I gotta look back at that shit. Um, oh, dude, I gotta... Is real- Eastern Orthodox the self-flagellating one? He kills like- Susan by being cheap with the envelopes. Yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. I think we know what he is. Yeah. Well, they never said explicitly but what he was. Yeah. You kill your wife. They never used the J word. They never said it. All in envelopes, I think. <laughs> How about that guy at the bagel place this morning? Oh, that was like hilarious. Fucking, like, he made comes him. in, he's just like flashy, like, you know, older dude, and he fucking like, uh, he's like, yeah, let me get, and he like orders a sandwich, and then the woman's like, 11 and he like, he, he put 10 on the table, and she's like, 11 he's like, that sandwich ain't never been $11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, $8 tops. He's like, $8. She's like, no, it's locks. It's, yeah. you know, she adds it up, and he's like, you better ask somebody. And she's like, you know, just shrugs. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and keep it? And, just leave. and he walks away. Really? Yeah, he, he didn't buy the sandwich. Two dollars more. And then the I sandwich. asked them if I could have it. And they were like, all right. And I'm like, I'm not going to pay for it. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. have this already yeah. made sandwich. Yeah. Make sure the dog doesn't pull the fucking recorder off the table. Please. I don't think she I is. just get the fuck off the fucking cord, you bitch. Y'all don't know, talk to her that way. Dude, she's about to ruin the podcast. Well, just don't curse at her. Fuck you, Isis. Yeah, yeah fuck you your dog. That? We're gonna oh, send man, you right back. Sad. We're gonna send you right <laughs> back to that, sorry. that, How that she basement that? Newark that you came from. <laughs> she came from Bed Stuy. I'm so sorry, Isis. Please. She stop came from sad. your street in Bed Stuy. Stop two blocks sad. away. Stop it. She's she was abused. She had a tough life. Sorry if I play with her nipples a little bit. No, nah, don't to try. Play with. Don't try. That's and... literally why Corella Deville wanted those puppies is to play with their nipples. <laughs> What's wrong with that? In 101 Dalmatians. She was the villain in the story. Adam likes her because she's flashy <laughs> and a bitch like he is. I'm not flashy and I'm not a bitch. I'm actually a really nice you friend. You sit in the bathtub and make telephone calls. You're right. You're not your flashy. your bubble bath. I've never taken a bath. Not even once. That's I love true. a nice bath, dude. I love baths. What's the too. thing about parents putting their kids like naked in a bath together and taking pictures? That's, that's kind of gross, right? No, it's is that not. something your it's family cute. did? Yeah, that your your I'd mom did those. that with your brothers. Sure. Yeah, with I have bubbles. these awesome pictures of me and my brothers, and we're just naked as shit. I'm three, and or I'm I guess I'm like four, and they're two, and we're just naked sitting on watermelons. Man, I can't wait until I have a son so I can take tasteful nude pictures of him in the <laughs> bathtub. <laughs> You know what I can't wait for for fatherhood is being able to take nude bathtub photos. Child of my pornography son. is of your to child. produce tasteful, sexually muted <laughs> photos of my son's penis 
as he bathes with other nude children that I may or may not even know. Neighborhood kids and the sorts. Mm hmm. I think you're sexualizing you gotta be, children. You gotta be like the worst kind of pedophile to fuck your own kid. Oh my god. <laughs> it says pedophiles that are like, well, you know, I guess I could just, I'm more sort of a DIY pedophile. <laughs> uh, I'm sort of like a Home Depot style. You make your guy. own. I make my own yeah, kid. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll fuck that. So. Yeah, imagine like. <laughs> Being at labor and like being so happy and excited, not because you're having a child, but because yeah. you're like, I'm gonna get to fuck this soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like it's fucking like waiting your, for a flashlight to come in from Amazon. Like, ew, 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 ew. Oh, I hate adult pussy. Her long bones are so mature. Her skull is just hard. <laughs> yeah. Her hard skull. <laughs> oh, God. Her teeth are fully formed and not all the same size. I hate this. She doesn't have rolls on her wrists. <clears throat> well, maybe not yours, dude, but it's fucking thick girl season around here, dude. Yes, yeah, thick girls. Shout out to the thick girls. Yeah. Yo, if out. you're out there and you're a fat bitch, Whoa. Um, you guess who's ready to get fucked? <laughs> Who? We need like fucking. I need a sound effect board so I could do like whistles and air horns. Oh, that would be awesome, dude. Yeah, and a voice modulator. Is it thick girl season? I'm uh, not on Twitter, so I don't know. Like, I don't you know I mean, how it's I a guess. different day. You don't need every day Twitter. Now. You could just go outside. You know, how it's like a different day every day now on fucking uh, on Twitter. Yeah, everything's different. It's season. Like ice cream day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or you know, kabuki day. Kabuki. I, I want to get. In, I'm gonna get into kabuki. Kabuki That's, theater? Yeah. And just like be, get into going to it or get into making it? No, I just like know a bunch about Kabuki theater and then, you know, do the thing you do where you find any excuse to bring up this thing you read about. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read about it. I read the headline and then I extrapolated. He didn't read. A girl he was fucking made him... Yeah, do a kabuki. book report about Isn't that yeah, like kabuki that's, Dude, that's the only way you get permission to fuck her Isn't you have to like perform a, a kabuki play to her father no. <laughs> is not that a type of older gay where they're into like uh like wearing the the robes and like doing kabuki stuff no i think that's just one guy that you know on a personal level yeah i don't know <laughs> well i'm more of a kabuki type what's, that, what's the movie where is that the is that a midnight in the garden of good and evil what Never mind. Isn't Kabuki... Kabuki's one of the sanctioned ways to do white face, though, right? To do, like, yellow face, right? Yeah, that yeah. makeup is paint, thick, dude. It's like... Just paint your face. It's like an inch thick, the makeup. Yeah. It's fucked up. I mean, isn't that... Ra like, what, what, how do the... Where do the appropriations people fall on that? I couldn't do it. You know what I mean? I don't think that those... Uh, it's a cultural thing, you know? <laughs> oh, you know, what were we talking about? Yeah, because nobody cares about plays. Yeah, no one cares about plays. What were we talking about? A retarded guy who's going to do a... Uh, oh, yeah, he wants to be Luke Comic Cage. He's Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> but he's just in blackface. A white retarded guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he thinks he did a great job and no one knows whether to scold him. <laughs> you can't. The costume is oh, excellent. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Ooh. <clears throat> I like the idea of like a, a retarded guy that really wants to be a surgeon. Mm -hmm. And they have to let him, you know, because no one can say no to him. They have to let him, but he's just playing operation and he thinks it's real surgery. No, he's doing real surgery. Oh, he is? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just sewing pieces of candy up in people. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> I was doing a, uh, we we're doing some good songs, guys. You know what me and Els were doing today was, uh, and I suck my own dick until I come in my mouth. Oh, yeah, I used to do that one, but it was like, um, the way you suck my dick, <laughs> <laughs> the way you drink my pee, <laughs> and I suck my own dick. Oh, no, you can't take that away from me. <laughs> Motherfucking Satchmo, baby. Yeah. That's a good nickname. Wait, are you doing Satchmo What a Wonderful we World? Yeah, yeah. And oh. I suck my own dick yeah. until I come in my mouth. Is that the t t tune? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Something like that. Look, no, man. I don't think the second line and is... And I suck my own dick. I don't think the second line is the tune. <laughs> Bro, why you I gotta be doing a different song? This. Whatever, man. 
I'm doing him doing that song. It just hurts. Where's your head. song, dude? I have a lot of songs. Go you guys ahead. Just me and Nick me just did that. one. Yeah. You do Why one. Why don't you do a song? Okay. Which which one? Oh, now you don't. Find, I thought you had a lot of fucking songs, bro. I got right, a lot of songs. You're the worst of the song parodies. Go ahead. No, dude. that's not true at all. You all guys right. just don't celebrate. Do it. one. <laughs> you have never done a good one. Uh, come town girl. Oh god, come Did on. The, that's got the no. show in it. Oof, no, no and that sucks. <laughs> you guys are just. And we've done that a hundred times. Way, <laughs> Uptown fag was yeah, the best version. Yeah. Of oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Joel's just like This one's for the real fans <laughs> Uptown fag uh, uh, The entire at live <laughs> Billy Joel live at the Anthony Kumi studio <laughs> <laughs> The ultimate Long Island experience The cheering breaks the sound barrier <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I, Okay let me do another Hurric- one our, uh, Earthquake destroyed Long Island today Is the loudest applause ever recorded when Billy Joel performed at the Anthony Cumia Studios, his new song, Uptown Fag. I have another one that I've done that okay. I never did on the show, but I wrote it and okay, it's good. great. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, la, 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 la. Okay. Uh, Show me the feet, girl, and free your souls. I want to get lost no, no, in no, your no. sexy toes. We already have toes. a better version of that. No, it's not. That's good so about showing the feet. Boy and and yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, give, me, give me the dick, boy, and yeah. free my soul. I want to get lost in your asshole. Well, yeah, it's right. you could and do it drift, about and drift away about sending. Feet. I'm fucking gay. That's how this works. Those are both good versions. No, I don't think they have to be a competition with each other. Yes, we do. I don't Suck think. No, first dick, of all, boy, being in constant competition with your boys is an essential part of being a real ass dude. <laughs> you're not competing. And with as the real ass dude podcast, you're not the best with of the real ass dude podcast. <laughs> I can be with Stav all the time. Yeah. About just, what? We have a less... We're, me and him are in a, a league above you. <laughs> so our, what do you mean our, a league our, above our, me? Our competition is is more nuanced. Yes. What do you mean it's nuanced? It's a gentleman's... We're playing 3D chess. Yeah. You're playing You're playing. You're checkers. playing 2Ds in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, you're playing... <laughs> you're playing double penetration. Okay, I got another one. You're playing 2Ds on your chest. <laughs> here's it. Here's it. That's good. Can, can I do another one? Adam likes a different kind of double Ds. <laughs> <laughs> one, in, one in my ass and one in my mouth. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, that's a good insult. That's Suck a good on insult. my dick, boy, and feed my hole. How about I no? I get lost this. in your asshole <laughs> and suck a dick. <laughs> me the f- uh, okay, I got no, another that one. one's bad. Okay, go. What's your other one? I read the news. I'm gay. A lot. <laughs> what song is that? Uh, the oh, Beatles. A day of oh. the Life. Never heard it. I read the news. I'm gay, a oh lord. Okay. About a man who fucked my ass and made me come. <laughs> All right. And though his dick was rather big, uh huh. I had to do it without consent. <laughs> uh, uh, I kind of lost it at the end yeah, there, but yeah, I appreciate yeah, you guys yeah. letting me go yeah. at least All four right. months. Eleanor Rigby. Was born a man, but she took <laughs> drugs to turn her into a woman. <laughs> now good. she's obscene. <laughs> yeah, now she's a trend. There you go. That's good. Oh, all the lonely look people. At all the sexy I wish trannies. they'd just stay online. <laughs> <laughs> all the lonely people. I got Move one. On Tumblr. Okay. What was the song we were just hey, listening to? Jew. Don't be so sad. Mm, I would have said so good. Take gay. your dad's took- dick. Mm-hmm. And suck on to it. <laughs> no. <laughs> they the took minute your full I pulled out my little dick when you were baby. See, stop trying to do this Jewish propaganda, man. But it's hey Jew instead yeah, of I was, Jude. I woke, up, hey Jew? I woke up this morning and I forget what I was dreaming about, but I came up with a, a place where you can get discount circumcisions called uh, Glands Crafters. <laughs> Why glands? Glands. Glands. It's the, glands? Tip, of the tip of the penis. Is I it? thought it was the foreskin. The tip of the penis is called the glands. Oh, they so, craft it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, instead of lens crafters, it's glands crafters. I would go to glands crafters. <laughs> yeah. I need to get my cock snipped. Yeah, would for, you do it as an for adult? For the discerning 
I don't know. What if they gave you a medical reason? They did. We've talked. We've been over this. Oh, because my yeah. dick, my, my yeah, thick skin is dick. too. They're yeah. like, well, you know, I mean, it's it's sort of a double edged sword here. Uh, it, because <laughs> go ahead, I'll lose half of my dick size. Yeah, you're, yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll actually lose three quarters of your dick size. The end of your ninety percent of your dick. <laughs> <laughs> that was Look, good. cosmetically, it does. It, there is a sleekness to my hard ass dick when it's struggling to come out of the foreskin that I like. Uh, but also, I just feel like I owe it to my Greek brothers to stay foreskin. Up. I support you leaving it staying natch, dude. I, it's, I always it's wish identity. I had a, it's identity politics. I don't know me. if I'm going to make my son do it. I got to be honest with you. Re- Whoa, that's actually. Big I think news. it's weird that they made me do it, and I didn't ha- even have an option. Your parents would flip if you didn't get your co- your son's cock snipped. Well, my parents can, can stay out of my fucking son's bedroom, oh, man. Damn. You know what I feel like? I feel Leave like his all, cock alone. All, all Jewish boys, instead of the the circumcision, they should have a. Little swastika tattooed right on the tip of their foreskin. That way, they could they make the decision themselves. But there's extra motivation to go ahead with it later in life. Mm. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like uh, it was gonna like the swastika would imprint on them like a like it'd be like the first thing they ever saw. Like you know how like ducks. If they, well, you don't see your own dick the first time yeah. you come out. If like Stav's a, never seen his own. If dick. a baby duck sees like a person, they think it's their mother. Stav, Stav had to wait until they invented drones I've before only, he could see his own dick. I've heard my dick like echolocation. I have yeah. to go to a room that has very good acoustics and yell at my dick, and the sound bounces off. And yeah. kind of get. I found out it. recently that girls don't. Stav like heard it. heard about his dick from a poet <laughs> that he encountered in a shire. <laughs> <laughs> Why doth thy tiny <laughs> rolling meadows and hills whence forth the dragon's breath and the gilded stroll through a quiet stream broken there in the elven cave one may find in the chodiest of reasons, regions the most blueberryeth of dicks blueberry like a little rotten cranberry <laughs> <laughs> Beneath the, uh-huh. the golem's taint. <laughs> Googling micro penis is is still always the funniest. It's like it's just such a pleasurable five minutes just to see yeah. men with worse lives. That sounds a lot like that bit I used to do. Did, did any, did, was there ever like a a person from history, like a famous man from history that yeah. people claimed yeah. has a micro penis? Yeah. Why don't yeah, you Why don't um, you extrapolate you on this micro penis idea and see where your joke writing <laughs> takes you? Wait, you never said that. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, are Go you ahead. being? You're, you're no, trolling. you have a bit about that, but you never you're said trolling. that. You're trolling. Are you kidding? <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> he is trolling and it's working. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's really upset. <laughs> I know. I'm never upset. I'm always chill. <laughs> I think they call me Chill Cosby. <laughs> I was thinking the other day, though. I think that micro penis sounds like computers, right? Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> sorry, I'm so, I'm sorry, dude. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, did you guys hear about that time I shit my pants and some Latino children called me gay? Yeah, they weren't children; they were teenagers, <laughs> and I consider them to be adults. <laughs> They're very mature. Uh, Adam leaves out the part of that real story where he screamed the N word at him from <laughs> from the window of his apartment. <laughs> He ran upstairs, and before taking off his shitty pants, he ran to the window and screamed the N-word from his apartment. Well, who else? To yeah. make himself feel better. We're taking over. Yeah. Enjoy the next couple my, years. My uncle owns the building you live in, and he's going to raise the rent until he ends up in a trash can burned to death. Remember when that story happened? Yeah, that's dude. fucked up, yeah. dude. Yeah. I, mean, no, I like well, how even the news was. was like, yeah, I kind of deserved it. Did an or- slum lords, didn't dude. an Orthodox landlord like take an axe and like dude. chop a water main like in one of the buildings to well, like they, sabotage the tenants or the heating they, pipes? They do some Not real shady shit. That. They do some real shady yeah, shit. Yeah, they're where pretty it's terrible. Like, they they hire contractors and they have this specific like uh, contract that says like they have the right to cancel up until like ninety percent of the job is finished, and then they threaten to cancel. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, you can cancel. We're going to cancel and hire somebody else to finish it, or you can just do it for half the money, and you just kind of get fucked, and you have to do it. Yeah. Shaw was telling me the story about um, this landlord that was just screwing people, mm-hmm. and he got these fucking Russians or someone fucking kidnapped him, and they tried to scare him into being a you know into paying them, and mm-hmm. they killed him by accident. 
<laughs> oh man. Wow, well, that sounds mean. I like Russians. They're, you they're like probably, Russians? Yeah, they're probably the best race. They respect the right things. <laughs> Strength. <laughs> Yeah, weightlifting. Weightlifting. Number one, Punching. most important. Uh, yeah. Gymnastics. Adidas. <laughs> yeah, Adidas. You know? They like Adidas. They get. They love bad haircuts. They yeah. do. Uh, Ball cuts. They're really into Dash shitty Dashcam videos. Although their food is bad. What's Russian I've never food? read any Russian literature. I know I should. Cause uh, it's, it's, I've only read a couple Dick of books. Like what? No, Nab- Nabokov doesn't count as Russian. No, why? No, he's American. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, he's he wrote, a Russian he wrote guy, it in but English. it's not the oh, same. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. It's Lolita not the same was written category. in English. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the same category as like Dostoevsky or Dostoevsky. Tolstoy. So. Yeah, you didn't read uh, like... Crime, crimes and misdemeanor. <laughs> yeah, I read crimes and misdemeanor. <laughs> crime, I read crime and punishment. I read uh-huh. truth, lies, and video sex. And you never tape. saw. You never read True Lies by uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jamie by Lee Dostoyevsky. Curtis. Dostoevsky. <laughs> Get in the chopper. <laughs> Get in the chopper. Chop, chop, chop. chop. <laughs> I remember one of my first boners was that. <laughs> <laughs> to Arnold Schwarzenegger's scene. naked body no. <laughs> and pumping iron. <laughs> on one of your first boners was jacking off the bodybuilding no. pictures of Arnold Schwarzenegger. There was a silhouette it was strip a dream scene. you had about a man using weight. To pin you down, <laughs> <laughs> just a fifty on each wrist. <laughs> yeah. Using Suzanne Powder women's workout weights, the pink plastic <laughs> ones. All <laughs> <laughs> your wrist two point fives, and then having missionary style sex with you. You know what? I like to think of myself as your guy's muse. Uh, I inspire. I inspire these gorgeous bits. <laughs> So that oh, was your fuck. first boner, huh? No, the Jamie Lee Curtis uh, silhouette strip scene. Jamie Lee had the, had some heavy She had some titties, big old TDs. Dude. I love that the they rumor was that she was born a hermaphrodite man, just yeah. because she had short hair. Yeah. <laughs> just because she had Adam's haircut and build. In the 80s, yeah. Her yeah. and Ciara. She had some... But Ciara didn't have big titties. Jamie Lee came through with fucking... What, some, it, what was that all about? Jamie Lee Curtis nude. Dude, it's good. Yeah, she's nude in, in trading, trading places. places. Yeah, you see that is some Curtis good old titty meat. You dude. see, she's got some some dude, jumbo Siri, yum yum, Siri, jumbo dude. yummies, dude. Jumbo yum yum. <laughs> look at look at how much of a fucking liar Siri is. I didn't find anything on the web for Jamie Lee Curtis nude. Oh, bi- bitch, we know that's out there. This is this is kind of shit. Steve Jobs, if he were still alive, would not be letting this shit happen. Yeah, God rest his soul. It's because the idea is that what, like children might be using Siri. I think you could probably set it up where she shows you titties. No, you can't. Siri, show me your titties. Siri, suck me off. Computer, give me head. Computer, you're joking. Oh yeah, suck- there they are. Don't oh. look at my phone, dude. Can I what see? What do you mean? Don't look. Yes, at your phone. of course you can see. <laughs> Get out of here, Adam. We're trying to look. Sit at back something. down in the fucking chair. We I told you to could pee, sit in. So I'm standing, so I don't have to. Yeah, make oh, everyone forgets that Adam has a vagina, so you can't. Oh God, you can't damn, control his dude. Piss. They are so fucking juicy, and they do that little dip up top where the nipple comes out, fucking pointy <laughs> as shit. I love that shit, dude. God damn, I love titties. <laughs> Damn. For real, titties are probably my so one of my number one movie. things. Ooh, it's a gif, my bitch. <sighs> oh, hell yes, dude. Stops coming in his pants. I'm fucking stiffed you up this right now. To Dr. Skin uh, 280i. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Skin. See, this Jane. is what happens. You all mock me for, as a youth, beating off to whatever I could find, but that makes me resourceful, dude. Did you? Ever- I'm a beating off hunter She's got gatherer. some long tits. Women don't have long tits like that. That's anymore. what I mean, that little right. divot. No, not the divot, where it's like their titty starts like nine ribs mm-hmm. down. <laughs> where they're yeah, like yeah, on yeah. their hips, basically. Did you, you know that it's like that is the girl from uh, just one of the guys? What, what's that? You remember that movie? Mm-mm. The best tits of all time is True Detective season one. That one. Oh girl. my fucking god! Yeah, yeah. They're I just, incredible. I just. I still remember. Oh yeah, I had sex with her. No, you didn't. Oh no. her. Uh, I also did. Before did you guys? That. Did you yeah, guys look, ever? This, this woman. Ooh, maron. Yeah, again, we're not gonna let out. Oh, they're heavy. Yeah. That's why they're heavy hangers. But. They still stay perked up. No, they're not heavy. It's they're just heavy, look, dude. Look how far down her ribs are. Yeah, they're fucking fat. It's, I'm, we're looking at the picture from uh, the, the just one of the guys one. Oh, right, where she pretends to be a dude, and then she pulls yeah, her titties the out The woman the that looks like Ralph Macchio. Who I would uh, fuck. I would the fuck her. I would have a sexy with her boobs. You know what the makes me pissed on <laughs> is when I do not get to fuck a woman from a movie picture. <laughs> I see in the theater there's a movie picture where you see a woman and they want to fuck her and they say if I jack on in the theater I have to go home. 
that they will lock me down in the jail if I jack on in the theater. <laughs> I want a fucking uh, so uh, second ability, second ability. They say we turn down the lights and see you jack off, <laughs> but I'm not doing it. I'm not jacking on. <laughs> I'm touching my penis. <laughs> You're actually touching your penis. I always touch my dick, dude. Absolutely. That's how you ground yourself in reality. I want to it's suck at your pussy. You grab the end of you your dick. You meditate oh, by this, touching the, end, the of end of your dick. Yeah. I didn't know that's what Zen was. It was a yeah, Zen stands for zipper heads engaging in naughty touching. <laughs> <laughs> that's Zen. Yeah, the T is silent. Okay, oh. in naughtiness. That's mm. good. Oh, okay. Yeah, Zip's engaging in naughtiness. <laughs> Zen. Damn, those are some good... What are some other good-ass movie titties? Um, movie titties? Did you guys ever jack off to... When you guys didn't have HBO growing up? No. I used to jack off all the time when they had uh, the fucking Kubrick movie. What do you call it? Well, Eyes Wide Shut. Eyes Wide Shut. But... I beat off to some... some it was very was in a Kubrick movie called Ass Wide Open. <laughs> I, I jacked off to that movie Switched. for years. <laughs> and, uh, and two He's on fire. He's two, trans. 2001 colon the amount of guys Adam's had sex with. <laughs> That's the other one. Do another one. Um, yeah. um, the shining asshole of Adam as a, the pre-cum glistens around the hole. A, a a working long. a Shut clock yeah. into his ass. The, uh, <laughs> the cockwork orange. Yeah. yeah. How did you not get that? The, cock, the cockwork the, the, orange you glad I didn't say <laughs> banana. Which is the thing Adam put in his ass. Yeah. <laughs> what did that name mean? What was orange? What, 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 where did they get the name for that? From? What did that? How did that relate to the movie? Clockwork Orange. What does that mean? Yeah, good point, dude. I don't I'm know. just asking. You, got, you got, um, haven't seen it. Yeah, that should be a podcast. You haven't seen it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, a Clockwork Orange is a fucking boring ass movie, dude. Yeah, but I feel like it's a pretty famous movie. Yeah. I don't they like rape and shit? It's that Yeah, he rapes. I don't yeah. like seeing rapes. That's my stance. You don't like seeing even uh, movie, movie rapes. rapes. No. Yeah, Clockwork Orange and uh, I like snuff films. <laughs> And Rocky Horror Picture Show are two movies that I watched that, th that I felt like I should watch, and it's just like yeah, this, I don't fuck, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get why people like these because Tim Curry's kind of rules. I don't remember Clockwork Orange. I I think I saw it for the last time when I was like sixteen. Yeah, yeah I only saw about, it once. I saw it one time when I was sixteen. Yeah, um, I saw. It's I, one of those movies you watch as a teenager that it's like. Even then, you're like, I'm never gonna watch this again. Like Donnie Darko, you're supposed to, yeah, yeah, Boondock yeah. Saints. I knew, nah, those dude, movies. both of those. I, that's how dumb I was. I was like, yeah, yes, dude. No, I saw I, Boondock Saints. I was like, this is my favorite. I love the Donnie Darko soundtrack. Hate yeah. the movie because it's Tears for Fears. Yeah, yeah, that shit around really, me. Yeah. Our guys, jacking. I, I, I was a big Tears for Fears fan. I'm still like them. The Everybody wants to rule the world. Is like one of my favorite songs. Yeah, I'm, uh, what is that off. album? The Hurting. I think so. Pretty, I forget the pretty, name. Pretty good. Yeah. But, uh... Not a bad minute. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know, know, dude. I haven't actually, like, listened to Tears for Fears in no. years. Yeah, I'm stupid. I thought Donnie Darko was good, and it wasn't until later when I rewatched it, and I was, like, in college, and I was like, hell yeah, dude. I was, like, showing it to someone, and I was like, dude, this movie's the fucking, some deep shit. And then I was like, oh, man, this is, I'm, I look stupid as shit. This yeah. doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. They like... Yeah. What was it? It's like a time portal or some gay shit or... Yeah, it's, it's like... He's got mental illness or something. But doesn't... Isn't there some kind of space or time intradimensional element? Yeah, What's up with that dumbass crash, bunny or whatever? But he like saves the town or something yeah. by... Yeah, some like gay Does he have powers too. or... Uh, yeah, he's like... Uh, his, he has the power of being uh, brooding and a teenager. Oh, nice. Yeah. I do. I do remember laughing very hard in that one scene, though, where with the fat girl, with the bullies, yeah. and the fat girl in the class, and the bullies. <laughs> that was very funny. Bullies just leaning back, and he raises his hand. He's like, "Um, yeah, didn't your dad like stab your mom?" <laughs> it's just like, such, a, such a funny bully line. Yeah, she <laughs> says, uh, "Puck you." Yeah, puck you. Yeah, she's or, fat. Yeah, she can't say peas because she's fat. I don't know. Or, yeah, do you that have that right? problem? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine I'm being so fat that you're <laughs> your lips weigh too much to make a f sound. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Um, That's funny to me when that happens. Was there a pedophile in that movie? Yeah. Uh, all, a all famous guy was Swayze. A Patrick yeah, Swayze. Yeah, Swayze was a, was 
right? Fucking kids. Yeah. Is Donnie Darko? I, I don't even I remember. He plays a motivational speaker. No, it's not Swayze. I think it's. Or isn't there. But there is a movie where Swayze is a pedophile, isn't there? Dirty Dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely Dirty Dancing. <laughs> dirty it's, Dancing 2. I watched that dirty movie. Dancing I watched that movie. Ring Around the, the Rosie. Recently. <laughs> dirty Dancing 2. What? Dirty Dancing? Have you seen it before? Uh, I think so. It's, it's ridiculous, dude. Now, who yeah, plays no the shit. pedophile motivational speaker? Uh, I think it is okay. Swayze. Maybe. Yeah. I think or someone does. Swayze-like, if it's not Swayze. Yeah, they find a bunch of child born in his house because it burns down. Of yeah, 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 yeah. Dirty Dancing really bothered me when I saw it recently because there's like a ton of 80s music in it, but it's supposed to take place in the 50s. It's like, it's like temporally that like, makes no sense. They have that... Wait... Just a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, the dancing That's a good is song, remarkably dude. dirty. I thought that they were uh, <laughs> he ca- exaggerating. He has, his, he has his cock out. No, they're like really He's just, just rubbing, rubbing cock. Oh, yeah, you know, you know it was humping. OTPH. Yeah, O-T-P-H. over the pants, fucking. Yeah, um, my favorite kind. It yeah. was so sad when Patrick Swayze died. Yeah, he's awesome. He's he's great. Yeah, who he's fucking a cool guy. yeah? Who who does not like Swayze? You know what? I'm gonna what I'm gonna do after we finish this and I don't upload the podcast for yeah, hours and hours mad. past the deadline. <laughs> and you make people cuss at me on the I'm internet. Gonna go, I'm gonna first of all, you make people cuss at you on your own with your attitude. I have a good attitude. And being disrespectful <laughs> towards me. I res- when all I ever do, I respect do you, and I respect. Is just try to drive this show into the ground for all of our sakes. <laughs> So we can move on to whatever the next thing is. And what I try to do is bring in a spirit of joy and celebration. Look, life of is not about stability. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, God forbid. Continuing. No, I mean, it really fucking isn't. You got to mix things up. That's how I got here. Yep. By you know? being a wild card. By being a, by being a cracker jack. A regular fucking rogue. A maverick. <laughs> yes, dude. You know? By my, my man's John McCain 08, bucking dude. Bucking the trends. <laughs> you know? That's how oh, yeah, dude. you let self-loathing dictate all of your snap decisions <laughs> to burn bridges and give up on things until eventually you haphazardly luck into some kind of success, and then you burn it all into the ground, and you start over by being a dog walker that's in sort Bushwick. of tolerated in the Brooklyn open mic scene after years of disparaging them. <laughs> I'm going back to the mics, guys. <laughs> On your racist podcast. <laughs> Hell yeah. That sounds like a good-ass plan, dude. Yeah, you guys want to go hit a mic uh, later tonight? Just hit one I, hard? I can't tonight. Why can't you be? I have a show. Uh, Adam wants to go hit a guy named Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wants a guy named Mike to take him, take him around back behind the Chinese restaurant for a little one-two special. <laughs> That's what Adam calls... Uh, What's uh, that? Uh, you know what it is. Dude. Yeah, one, what is it, one, two special. It's when you you, you use put, the low main to lubricate. You put one in your two hole. Yeah, your asshole. That's right. Would you let a guy fuck your ear? No. Why not? I wouldn't, he's I wouldn't got a really your, little dick. You play with your dog's nipples. Why he's would got you a really a small dick, ear? and it basically feels How like you're getting anal- analogous. Because one is a weird sexual deviancy, and so is the other. But here's I the thing: think. his dick is really small, and it really it cleans out your ears better yeah. than any Q-tip. What if it, it was a what if it was a, <laughs> a two doing? and a half foot no tall man? Yes, who had some kind of it was Leprechaun from okay. the Leprechaun movie. Sure. Okay, and either Continue. he fucks your ear or he saws you in half. Well, I'd let him fuck my ear then. Yeah, okay, that's All what right, I so thought. So you'd let a guy fuck your ear? Yeah. yeah. Instead of dying. Biggest surprise. <laughs> Adam wants to get fucked in his ear <laughs> by an ethnic midget. <laughs> well, it's a. Irish, I guess. Yeah, that's ethnic. Yeah, I'm sorry. What were you implying there? That Irish are white. That I the Irish aren't an ethnicity. <laughs> dude, you know Mullen is a proud Irishman. Dude. You know me, dude. I love Boston. <laughs> I love wearing green. You love- I love St. Patty's Day. Don't ever disrespect the Irish in America. You know, we used to be slaves, or like. Oh. Toy, there toy, toy, toy. was 20 years when we couldn't get a job. That's, that's not actually... That was never real. Oh. Uh, uh, that's uh, probably Irish maybe like not four years. a lie. Yeah. That's, no, it's not real. It really? never happened. Yeah, it's, it, there was it never was, a single it, one it was, made It's up. literally awesome. brick-a-brac invented by fucking Bennigans. It was a thing they would put on the wall. That's yeah. hilarious. By the novelty wall industry. That is so funny. Wall ornament industry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. 
Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of shit like the, the the fucking the Gadsden flag that don't tread on me snake. Yeah, it was like never. It was never, never considered. Like a, no, it wasn't the flag. People think that was like the original flag of the United States. It was States. one of the... Consi- no, it wasn't. Wasn't it like floated? No. What it was was like in the late 1800s, it was like an ensign that the U.S. Navy used. Mm. And then like 20 years later, it appears on like a commemorative plate. And then there was some sort of like uh, ahistorical, like re- revisionist history of the Gadsden flag because it looks cool. And people decided cool. that it was like the original flag of the United States. But. I think that the Maryland state flag is the coolest looking. Flag. It is a good flag. Oh, yeah, dude, it the looks black really good. Susan, my bitch. Yeah. What is it from? Lord Look. Baltimore's like yeah. coat of arms. Lord, Lord Baltimore, and then the 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 Calvert family. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, um, dude. Our, shout our, out. You know what our, our yeah shouts out to Maryland. You know what our fucking uh, state sport is? Uh, football jousting. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure it's not lacrosse. I swear to God, it's jousting. It's crab cakes and football. Yeah, bro. crab. That's what that's what fo- that's what Maryland does. Oh, we, should, Maryland we should go. Does. I know all of them, or I know all, a lot of them. All of what? All of the state things. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? What? Do you, what's? Oh, uh, I don't know any other ones. What's the official flower of Pennsylvania? Black eyed Susan. No, I'm talking about Maryland. Oh yeah, oh, Maryland. Black-eyed you Susan. know all their stuff. Which is a na- which is a flower named after domestic Ask violence. Me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ask me about uh <laughs> That doesn't Nevada. know how to keep her no trap shut, Susan. I'll tell you about Nevada. <laughs> yeah. Official flower. You already told her twice, Susan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Yeah, the, the UMBC. That was my alma mater. That was our fucking mascot. The yes. Labrador. The, we we no, didn't even get a real Chesapeake retriever. Bay Retriever. The fucking uh, 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 black-eyed Susan. The white oak is the tree. The, the animal, mall? I think, is a dinosaur. No, no there. Every state a has a state oh, oh, oh. dinosaur, yeah, or fossil or something. I think we got brontosaurus. Uh, uh, I think some type of rockfish is the fish. Mm. Um, I guess I don't know all the state shit. <laughs> the motto is uh, uh, "manly deeds, womanly words." <laughs> yeah, that's right. We've we've been over that. Yeah. Nevada is sagebrush. That's the state that's, flower. That's our. Mo- that's basically Adam, our. What are, What are the state things from where you're from? San Francisco. Okay, so well, the, from the, the the prolapsed asshole. Yeah, the mission impossible. That's the state mission. flower. Is the <laughs> is the sun the sort of f- f- like s- flare burst around a man's asshole? That's mm. good kind of thing. Uh, you're not allowed to call yourself gay. Only we're allowed to do it. If you do it, you're stealing our bit. <laughs> the only bit you can do is is uh, uh, impishly defending yourself. <laughs> I mean, from impishly our, from our barrage of powerful insults <laughs> from our level 99 insults that ravage your flimsy personality like the the gossamer faint weakling that you are <laughs> oh fuck can I have Damn. a moment to defend myself no you cannot <laughs> please you know parliamentary rules. Nick's got yeah, the dude. floor. Robert's yes. rules. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Queens of Marduke rules. <laughs> the Marmaduke rules. Yeah. So what is parliamentary procedures? Like you could just like control how someone talks and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to get talk for stick. time. And then you have to pass motions. I feel like stuff. that doesn't happen as much. I feel like there's not a lot of maneuvering on parliamentary procedures anymore. I don't know. You got to listen to Chapa Trap House. They do it all the time. Do they? Yeah, it's all parliamentary. Oh fuck! I didn't know that. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I got parliamentary, brush up, dude. my dear Watson. <laughs> I got to brush up. I can't wait till getting head is in the news so I can go on as a expert on Chapo Trap House. Yeah. Um, Adam went on to be a tattletale. I went on uh, twice, actually, and I was a tattletale tattletale both times. (laughs) First, I was on a tattletale on the Zionist youth experience, and then the second time... Unlike you guys, I'm not using our podcast as a stepping stone to get on other podcasts. What are you talking about? You do other podcasts all the time. Uh, Only because they're below our podcast. (laughs) Oh, so you're saying that... I I help out Louis J. Gomez by (laughs) doing some of his... His podcast, which do have a bigger audience, but that that's most of those people, most of those are repeat listens because his fans are mongoloids that can't get it all in one pass. <laughs> oh, so, so he gets you multiple have to cut, downloads. Right. Yeah, basically, most they can't. half of the people that listen to the Real Ass Dude podcast, and I'm not trying to be mean, but they have both fetal alcohol syndrome and Down syndrome. <laughs> 
they got what they call in the medical community as the double whammy. Oh, no, no, no. And cauliflower ear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They they're, come out, yeah. They're born when with they're, it. They're, they're born with cauliflower domestically ear. abused <laughs> pussy beats their ears up like a fucking gym mat on the you way know, out of the vestibule. Well, you know, doctors used to box babies' ears the second they were born to make them mm. deaf. Did they it's do true. that? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we thought it was good. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know it was bad. It'll make them we stronger. Didn't know it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cauliflower ear is the fun. One of the funniest things to me. I was scared from getting. getting I wrestled. Did you wrestle? I wrestled for a, a season. Yeah. But you didn't you wrestle guys that are much taller than you because of your weight. Um, no, every wrestlers are typically pretty short because tall guys are you're at a disadvantage in wrestling. Yeah, you gotta be probably low, just more way more jacked than him. Yeah, I was good. Oh, because, I was good at wrestling. Yeah. I just didn't. I couldn't stick. Like I would just get <laughs> gassed. I was actually like the with actual wrestlers, I could fucking roll around with them. But then it was like the after the first round, I was like just done. I never exercised and shit. You're cooked. What was cool though was sometimes I was the second string guy. There was like a a much better who like actually wrestled, mm-hmm. and so I would fight the. I second did. String. I did a sport called wrestling where I would go into the women's bathroom, <laughs> and I would wrangle them into one of the stalls. I would wear a mask, <laughs> like a luchador mask, <laughs> because no one's gonna believe them. And if they do, then they they you know usually interrogate the guys in the Home Depot parking of lot. Of course, the luchador is smart. Yeah, <laughs> throw them off the me. scent. You're Ooh. throwing fucking. I kept saying, I'm like uno dos tres. <laughs> And saying stuff like that, mm-hmm. throwing I Doritos. Paint, yeah, I paint my hands black, and I wear a shirt with Chinese letters on it. <laughs> I go, I go Come on. You wear a shirt that says "Princess." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the detectives are like, "Geez, this guy could be Chinese, black, or Mexican, but we know one thing for sure: it's definitely not a white guy." <laughs> <laughs> <With> these clues. <laughs> luchador mask. <laughs> He's wearing a luchador mask and a sombrero. He opened her pussy up with a pair of chopsticks. <laughs> and then he left a bunch of change on the floor of the bathroom. <laughs> which he later came back for. Ah, <laughs> uh, throwing Jew at the end <laughs> there. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. There was invitations to a bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's the perfect crime. <laughs> Dov, you never got to go to a bar mitzvah growing up? I went to two. You went to two? Yeah, my did boy you Jake, freak, Jake. Did you Jake freak Grimmel, dance? Huh? Did you freak Benzimbrin. dance? Um, it wasn't a really freaky dancey. I, I think I got robbed of that. It was kind of classy, dude. It was really nice. And it was like downtown oh. McCormick and Schmidt. They had a great fucking spread. I learned how to Not freak dance. You know has a great spread? Adam's mom. <laughs> oh, you mean her pussy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. There's all these mom jokes okay, <laughs> that you guys have been doing about my mom. But uh, don't do this, I didn't Adam. really Adam, tell Adam, you please. about what happened a couple months ago with my family. What happened? My dad, he had a Bowflex gym, home gym. And he mm. murdered my entire family. <laughs> <laughs> he put your mom in the crippler crossface until she died. And then he killed himself. That story rules. <laughs> Chris Benoit. Yeah, I yeah. can't believe they made a movie about CTE. <laughs> That fucking piece of shit Will Smith movie, and it wasn't just about Chris Benoit. They should have just the, made the, the movie should have been called Benoit, and it should have they should have taken because Hollywood does it anyways. It should have been Will Smith playing an African guy that loves wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you don't do not understand. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Benoit so is weird. innocent. He is an innocent man. <laughs> Where I come from, murdering your family is good. <laughs> 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 and because they took your picture. <laughs> They took a picture of him, and so they deserve to die. <laughs> I forget that he, he was African. Yeah, I never saw that, that terrible movie. accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I never Tell saw the it. truth. <laughs> Literally, be, like on par with ours. He's an yeah. African <laughs> football doctor. Yeah, yeah. That's I don't know. so weird. The best African sucks. accent. Didn't you go is, uh, see that with your mom, Nick? Concussion? Yeah. No, I've never even seen it. Who told me they saw it with? Oh, this is my friend Jonah. He went to go see Concussion with his mom. <laughs> Uh, the best African accent is uh, uh, Last King of Scotland. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I got to rewatch that movie. I, 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 when I watched that movie, it was like when I first got into like downloading uh, like torrents? downloading torrents of yeah. movies because like for whatever reason, I just didn't I like liked going to Blockbuster. Yeah, and that was one of the first ones I got. And it was like a, a telescreen or, a, um, or like a, cam, a HD cam. Hmm. So the sound was all fucked up. Mm-hmm. And so I never got to appreciate that movie 
in full DVD. Forrest quality. motherfucking Whitaker. You watch it on your TV. R.I.P. Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> he was, uh, you know, what he was in. He died yesterday. Oh my god, dude. No, yeah, that's he sad. Didn't die, dude. Dude. Oh, I, who was it? Prodigy. Yeah, I always confuse those two. <laughs> Prodigy from Mob Deep and Forrest Whitaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> So something about him that's so similar, similar that makes yeah. that confuses so me. Similar. Between those two men, they have one overlapping quality, and I can't quite pinpoint it. And it's just those two that yeah. you can't get straight. No, it's some other people. They're, too. Ta- they're talented. It's artists. him, uh, LeBron like James, Grimace from McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Uh, Makila Gorilla. <laughs> yeah, uh, Baloo from the Lion or the Jungle Book. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see who uh, else. Fuck. Cat Williams. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love Cat Williams. Cat Williams. Dude, I, I watched two Bagheera specials from the Jungle Book. Has he also. come back from getting knocked out by a child? Uh, that video was great. <laughs> that really was. Yeah, man. That's the best video. He's what so you good. want, little boy? <laughs> so <laughs> awesome, dude. He got Eleven knocked year out old by boy. little boy. <laughs> I mean, he's like five four and shit. <laughs> Whatever, dude. It's so good. That's amazing. That video of him. That's really in why the internet was was invented. How about that video of him in Target where he like slaps the cashier and rides away in a fucking motorized scooter? <laughs> God, he's the best. He's so funny. I hope he yeah. comes back. I watched one special and he's straight. It's not that long. It's like forty one minutes, but he is killing the entire fucking time. It's awesome. It's like. Closer after closer this is, after closer. This is all you've ever seen is Cat Williams and Andrew Dice Clay specials. <laughs> I haven't seen any Dice specials. You've never seen Forrest Gump. I've seen like he saw the Dice movie that neither no, of I us never had saw even it. heard of. I never saw it. I tried to find it. You never I, saw it. I can only. I tried. I can't believe it I didn't even download. know that existed. If there was the Adventures of Ford Fairline, dude, come on, dude. come on. We they gotta tried watch to make that. Dice a star. How about how about how about Andrew Vice Clay? And he's like, oh. Yo, you know what would be fucking legit? <laughs> if you did ketamine and beat a woman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> Check that out. Smokes a cigarette over his fucking yeah, mouth. Smokes a over his head. cigarette. Yeah. A fucking some Bengali cigarette. He's wearing a kefia. Yeah. Andrew Vice Clay. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Write that down. Yeah, that's one I don't because every other one has been done already. Andrew Dice Gay being the the Andrew best Dice of all time. Hickory Amazing. Dickory Doc. I love sucking cock. Man, and is so funny. He really is, dude. He's hilarious. God, that's such a good fucking bit. Yeah. I haven't seen that video in a while. We should we should run it up after this. Yeah, we should all watch old old ant bits. I've been doing that. I've been digging into old O and A shit. Uh, yeah. yeah, trying to trying to learn. Dude, it's so funny. The fucking Patrice O'Neill the day after the Kramer thing happened. Was, I gotta watch that one. I, I was peeing my pants, yeah. dude. This is yeah. so funny. So you were peeing your pants, and then you decided to watch this video. Yeah. And then what happened? So I was peeing my pants, and then I'm like, I need yeah. to watch a, I need to watch an old O and A. He's peeing his pants. Bit on like, YouTube. This is what I think sex is. <laughs> <laughs> my friend told me that when I was a kid. My friend, we were playing when a girl roller gets hockey. Wet, she pisses. Yeah, yeah, yeah we were playing Tim, roller hockey. Adam thinks sex is when he sits by himself and quietly. <laughs> pisses his face. It's so funny how much pussy I get. <laughs> that's, that's the dumbest shit we said in the Adam yeah. is gay genre. Yeah, but yeah. That one got me It good. makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> Sitting down and quietly and pissing himself. Just looking through looking through the, the fucking peephole at the front of the apartment. Looking through the blinds to make sure his parents aren't home. And then just sitting in the living room chair. Puts down a couple of newspapers and quietly pees himself. In his mom's clothes. <laughs> That's a good wrinkle. <laughs> ah, f- you ever see that movie, Hearts myself. of Atlantis? Mm-mm. No. Where, where fucking uh, uh, Anthony Hopkins plays like some old man with magical power. It's one of those movies that like I'm pretty sure it was a Stephen King book where they turn it into a movie and you watch it and you don't know it's a Stephen King book, but you're like, what the fuck is right. happening? They just yeah. cut out like whole yeah. chapters. And well, it's just they magic it. for yeah, no reason. Yeah, there's magic going yeah. on. It's like... Some bullshit town in Maine, and there's a little boy, and yeah. you know, like that kind of shit. Yeah. So, Arts of Atlantis, he's an old man that stays with this family, and he can do magic, and the kid's getting bullied, and then Anthony Hopkins, like, intervenes mm-hmm. and protects the boy from the bullies, and he does it by being psychic and knowing that the main bully is, like, gay. Oh, and so he's like, awesome. you like to dress up in your mother's clothes when she's not home, don't you? <laughs> he's like, sh- sh- shut up! You know, and he's like, you like it. You like the way it looks when you wear your mother's clothes. It feels good, doesn't it? You know, so he, he's, and just, he's just gay he blackmails a, yeah, he's just a fucking, queer youth. Yeah, right. 
right, so, by the way, is a bully because he doesn't know how to handle yeah, his right. homosexuality. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so the movie has cool the moral. powerful message that bullies are actually just faggots. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. That's uh, actually like just that's very much my father's morality on things. Yeah, no mm-hmm. one cares about your father, dude. <laughs> newsflash? <Nobody laughs> newsflash. <laughs> um I've never bring him back newsflash. I've never learned a moral lesson from my father once, I don't think. He's just his morality is like the Republicans just need to get fucked. Hell yeah. They're dude. just horny. That's why they're like that. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That doesn't make any sense. I don't think my dad has a single opinion on anything. Your dad sounds like he rules. I would probably be great friends with your dad. You would. No, you guys would get along, dude. I would like your dad, too. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's funny. No, he would hate Adam. No, he wouldn't. He'd call you a bitch. No, he wouldn't. He would. Actually, I already spoke to Stav Sr. And he what are you talking about? <laughs> Stav, Stav's dad is just a... A bigger version of Stav that opens up and Stav goes inside. And, <laughs> and, and, and then his grandfather is an even bigger version of that. That's Russian, dude. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Don't call me that in public on the podcast it's in called, front of people. They're called Matryoshka dolls, right? Maraschino dolls. No, Maraschino. Babushka. Babushka. What does that mean? It means, it means uh, grandmother. grandmother. Grand, grand, grandma? Yeah. Grandmama. Mm. Um, anyway, so... Uh, is Stavros Senior just he's just a Greek version of you, an old man? He's like Oh no. Oh I love to eat pussy. No, I don't know if my dad eats pussy, dude. He seems like a selfish lover. Really? My dad yeah, I, I would I would guess so. Um We were joking around before the show about that uh that they tried to make like a fleshlight for women. A cunnilingus machine that looks like a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About yeah. Stop, stop. Did you see this picture of Stop that Ryan Shutt posted on Instagram? <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep uh, in my hand, in my just, balls. Just completely down his pants. Yeah, yeah. Your, hands you, up to your, it, the, your pants are up to your fucking elbow. Nah, I mean, you know, yeah. It's pretty... <laughs> Well, I was, yeah, I was I, comfortable, I, dude. I used to live with this guy, and he passed out drunk one night, and he passed out with his hand down his, the back of his pants in his ass. What? And I took a picture of it. Yeah, he was, like, off the bed. And I took a picture of it, and I was showing people, and he, like, just never forgave me. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of a, you know... Uh, violation? Violation of his privacy. I don't give a shit, dude. That's called being in a boy's house. <laughs> if you live in the boys, dude, you're going to get your pants pulled down. You're going to get, get held down and fucked. Of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a whole rack of gay shit's going to be happening to you. Rip of gay ch- shit. With your, with your boys. All right. We're like way over time here. Are we? Nice. Yeah, we're an hour 20. So oh, damn. damn. We're done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, the uh, show. Okay, yes. A couple shows coming up. On Saturday, we have a show with Luis J. Gomez uh, for Luis J. Gomez. Oh, yes, Gang Fest. A festival at the Creek in the Cave at I'm turning Adam's mic down. <laughs> no, come on, dude. We got to promote our shows. So we're on Gang Fest, I think, at 1 or one thirty on Saturday at the Creek, at in, the the Creek cave. in the Cave. And then on Monday, we have Funny Moms, and it's a... Like, we got a banger I know I lineup. say this all the time, but it's a fucking amazing lineup this month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a Mark really good Norman, one. Sean Guys, Patton, we got Emma Willman. Greg Proops. <laughs> we got Greg Proops, Ryan Styles. Uh, the Drew Carey, Drew Carey, and we're making it up. Wayne as Brady, we go along. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wayne Brady. We got Wayne Brady. We got um, Cuba Gooding Jr. We got Cat Williams. Yes, we got Forrest Whitaker. I think mm-hmm. there's some guy that looks like Forrest Whitaker. A stand up? Yeah, I, it might be our friend Jamel. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he does sort of have a. Yeah. Does he have a lazy eye? No, he doesn't. Eldis has kind of a cock eye. It's so fucking funny. Stop! Um, you kind of have a lazy eye. No, I don't. I mean, like both, like your whole body is lazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have a lazy eye in that it's in my body. <laughs> um, and also, relaunch the damn Graham baby, Stavi baby two. Follow your boy. The Graham is up. We got those two shows Saturday one thirty at the Creek, and then come on everybody. Uh, doors at eight. If Monday. you want to see, me on PlayStation. Also, I'm tr- I'm trying to get a Twitch thing going. My own independent project where. I- I game and I I yell at the you get me get to watch me get mad at Battlefield One. <laughs> yes, when I try to God, reach, I d- it's gonna class be sad how many people want to watch that. <laughs> That's pathetic. Yeah, no, it'll be great. Those dudes that worship Nick. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so um, oh, also the Saturday show is a live podcast. The Monday show is a stand up show, uh, as per use. Uh, um, funny moms, but anyway, yeah. Just that's so you guys it. know, I need a new project. I need some. I need to. I need to find a way. We're to... working on the web series. Dude. No, Let's just no. The projects it. for me are things that might get me arrested. <laughs> like a fun project. <laughs> like what? Like like ruining a business or you know. Okay. 
destroying we can figure property something out. or Pretending something. Pretending to be a Down syndrome girl in OK Cupid. That kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. classic. Classic, classic Mullen. Mullen. I mean, I really don't. I haven't done anything fun since since child porn dot sexy. That was great. That was yeah. That's that's a uh, that's a good. Maybe I'll I'll lie my way into some kind of contest. <laughs> now we're talking. All right, let's talk off mic. We don't want it. We don't want this recorded. Yeah, all right. For legal purposes.